Coming to you live from New York City. All right, New York, New York. How you doing? We're kicking things off in a big way. It's the number one contender for the heavyweight championship, Mr. Brody Lee, going up one on one with Tony Nice. Who's going to come out on top in this contest? Want to know something crazy? Hell yeah, I do. Making his way to the ring, weighing in at 275 pounds. Harper! Yeah, Harper tends not to say a whole lot, but when he does, it's with a purpose. Corey, you've been in the ring with this man. Thank you for reminding me. I spent the last several years trying to forget. That empty, soulless stare. Just the prelude to the impending destruction. Corey, you've been in the ring with this man. I've been trying to forget it ever since. I was changing everything up for ECW going to WCW, and I changed my colors to purple and black. Then the news broke out. I guess you can call it ironic or something. And yeah, no kidding. Here come the eight reasons. Come over here. Come here, I want to show you something. This right here, this is why I'm the premier athlete. And let me show you something else. Let's count it out together. One. Two, three, four, five, six, so is is Tony Nice just like on 205 now and that's it? Is that why I haven't seen him in forever? Think so, yeah. I don't know. Do you think Tony Nese consumes every day? I don't know, Saxby. You should probably ask Tony Nese, but I know you're not important enough for him to acknowledge your existence. Don't really watch it anymore, just like no one watches main event. I know there's just so many different shows that WWE has. It's like I, I can't keep up with it. It's not good enough of a product to keep watching all these different shows. 205 Live, Main Event, NXT UK. Hell, I don't even watch NXT anymore because it's on this at the same time as AEW, and I'm sorry, but I got my priorities straight. WWE before, but this cruiserweight, Tony Nese, takes it to a new level. We get it, Tony. You got abs. I smell jealousy. If you haven't hit the cord yet, now might be a good time to do that. These guys are going to have a match you'll want to watch. Speaking of weird coincidence, this winter I've been wearing my Bray Wyatt socks with the Wyatt family written on the bottom. A few weeks ago, a couple holes started forming in them. Last two pair of socks I had were Joey Ryan and Marty Skrull, which all had holes in them. Wow, I guess that is kind of ironic. Weird coincidences. Ironic at best, yeah, no kidding. Scoop slam. Pick perfect drop kick. All the way up. Oh no. Good night. Do a buster. Tony D bringing serious offense, just producing an onslaught. Put in a little more work than that. Folks, all you gotta do is take one look at Tony Nice to realize he's a perfect. Take one good long hard look at Tony Nice. Back hair and amazing 
physique. The man simply won't settle for anything less than perfect. Wait, they're streaming the NBA game on Twitch? Oh, Corey, he unloaded there. Since when is that a thing? Oh, it's just the score. What's this? That's weird. I don't know if I like that. They're just milking fans. Milking, milking them for their money. Hey, you follow the NBA on Twitch. By the way, do you know you can just watch the scoreboard change? And there's actually 230 people watching it. Woo! Big kick by Mr. Brody Lee. Why would 230 people watch an NBA scoreboard changing when they can come over to this channel, watch some CSW wrestling action, and actually watch something happen, you know? For the aggression to escalate. Makes it easy for those without cable or internet. Ah. So does the ESPN app. I'm sorry, I'm just being an asshole now. Locked in. This could be it. Nicely done as he gets out of the submission. Color me surprised, Michael. I did not see that one coming. And Tony Nice exploiting the opening. Nice is so smart. First he's calling out Miro, and now he's calling out NBA's Twitch channel. Someone come get their man. I mean, she ain't here right now, but I'm sure she'll be here in a second. <laughs> as long as he isn't calling out Jack Evans, I'll allow it. I fair. They can just punch him in the chest. He's getting pushed out into the defensive. He's lost much of his early confidence. I just realized I never changed, like, my actual schedule on uh, Twitch. I need to kind of do that right now. There's a pin now. Frustration has to be mounting as he kicks out yet again. Yeah, call your friends and let them know what's going on. <laughs> Sorry. All right. There we go. Now it's updated. And then, of course, as soon as everything goes back to normal, I got to go back over here, change my schedule again. Love working the life of a chef. It's great. Uh-oh. Is this the end for Tony Nese? Going for it again. Oh! Good night. Well, that's bullshit. Cooking up some fire matchups. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'll see myself out. Really just laying it in. Harper creating pure unbridled chaos. Keeping the pressure on. Goodness. That is nasty. So precise. Ah, oh, what a smash. That is just insulting. He might have been waiting on that one. Uh-oh. Well, that was kind of bullshit. Picking up the upset victory. Coming up next, we've got Banks versus Bliss. When you pair up Sasha Banks and Alexa Bliss, yeah, I forgot to turn entrances on. <laughs> two women who believe all the attention should be on them. And the difference is Alexa Bliss doesn't need to beg for attention like Sasha does. Eyes just naturally gravitate to a goddess, whereas a boss is someone you try to avoid on a daily basis. Do you get paid to say this stuff? Snap suplex. Slap. Oh, oh man, inverted backbreaker. Ow. Oh, there's some gouging going on. Ooh, technical mastery from the goddess. That wasn't very nice. Neckbreaker. Ouch. She's going for the cover. Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Oh, what a kick. Ooh. Elbow smash. Gotta find a way to get out of this. Ooh. Ooh. Sasha Banks not looking at her best right now. Yeah, no, she is not. Hard. She's being dominated by Alexa Bliss right now. Just send not talking to you. There. Right to the gut. Stomping. Ouch. Whoa. Beautiful drop kick. Set it up. Nice neck breaker. Ah, oh, look at this. Up and down. What a slam. Looking for the quick pin. She's got a long way to go before she should be thinking about a pinfall victory here. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. Ooh, nice back rotation suplex. Set up for the leg sweep. Nicely done. Sasha Banks is moving the momentum to her corner. Dictating the pace of the match now. Snapmare. Alexa Bliss looking stymied. 
She can withstand the punishment, though. Man, Alexa has had... Not you. She has had complete control of almost this entire match. Sasha can't catch a break right now. Maybe this is the break she needs. when I had Shayna Baszler on my roster and she just literally tried to terrorize the entire roster that I had. It was like every match here comes Shayna to try and interfere. Gotta do more than that. Wait a minute. I looked down for a minute and all of a sudden this? I don't think this one's gonna be any Byron, help me. Oh I'm not sure I can, Michael. She seemed to have it locked in pretty good. Big time Lariat. Starting to fire up. Where is the superstar getting this from? This is incredible. Cover. Is it enough? What's it going to take the Nope. She needs the fiend out there, indeed. Indeed, she does. Wow! Here is your winner, Sasha Banks. What a gutsy performance by the trailblazing Sasha Banks. I can't argue with that, Michael. That was a tenacious battle. All right, up next we've got Roderick Strong versus Sami Zayn. Who's going to come out on top in this matchup? Time to get undisputed. Still no Roddy. Roddy keeps getting singled out. Even when it's his match. They're just like, you know what? You stay in the back. We got this.
Hey, I found Roddy. Oh, great. It's Sammy. <laughs> oh, great. It's Sammy. I'm just gonna say it. I can't stand Sami Zayn. This man has shown nothing but disrespect for WWE, and the crowd has really turned on him in kind. You know, you're both being ridiculous. Sami's just been speaking his truth. He may be the most honest man here. Being honest doesn't make him right, Corey. Lately, Sami's been just downright miserable to be around. Oh! When is the Rumble? I just realized that. We gotta coordinate our, uh, our Rumble pay-per-view. Oh, they were doing it at the end of January? Damn. Oh, this ought to be interesting. Current WWE Royal Rumble betting odds. He's been the heart and soul of NXT and an annoying complainer on SmackDown Live. Which Sami Zayn showed up here tonight? It doesn't matter, Saxton. Whatever his mindset, Sami Zayn is still one of WWE's finest competitors. Sami Zayn with the offense. Situations like this usually don't end very pleasantly. Oh, right to the throat. Innovation from Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn has got everything going exactly. All three have three to one odds, which means one would win three dollars if for every one dollar bet on those superstars. Bet Online is thinking that either Big E's single push will continue through Mania, or that one of the legends in Edge or Goldberg can make a surprise return to steal the show and the match. So Big E, Edge, and Goldberg have three to one odds to win the Rumble. Rounding out the top five for the men's Rumble are Brock Lesnar and Keith Lee both have five to one. Well, shit, I don't like this top five at all. <laughs> Wow. Get this for the women's rumble as far as betting odds. Bianca Belair is the favorite at 9 to 2. The rest of the top 5 for the women's match are in order. Rhea Ripley at 5 to 1 odds. Bliss at 6 to 1 odds. Ronda Rousey at 7 to 1 odds and Shayna Baszler at 8 to 1. Very interesting betting odds. Yeah, this rumble's gonna it's probably gonna be Goldberg. Hard to kill January 16th. Remind me again what's hard to kill. I'm sorry, I'm an uncultured swine, I know. <laughs> I can just screenshot this and put all the betting odds in the wrestling chat. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bull club for the tag. Okay, you're right. I love how I said I was going to start watching Impact again, and I still haven't. I'm terrible, dude. It's like, I feel like the only thing I have time to actually watch a full episode of anymore is AEW. And now I'm streaming during AEW. Shoulder up. 
And the match continues. No need to right now. They're only doing the best of 20. Oh, okay. Watched it the first night and quit. Damn. Alright. Full list of the betting odds is up on the wrestling chat now. I kind of feel that way too. I had to set aside time just to watch one of the DVDs I got. For oh my God, DVDs! Thank you for reminding me. Oh, I didn't get either of these for Christmas. And I told myself if I didn't, I was going to buy them anyway. Precision and physicality with his attacks here. Strong is showing signs that it could be ending soon. Yeah, I don't even think he knows where he is. I think Roger still has the heart to fight through this. I've got my doubts. At that, yes, I know. I acknowledge. No, that may be the closest I've seen a referee's hand come to hitting three. Acknowledge, add to cart. Ooh, that's how you dominate your opponent. Nothing I think the last time we talked about betting odds, I mean, uh, or I mentioned Big E, but I could be wrong. Yeah, right now, Big E is one of the top three favorites to win the Rumble. But with him having the Intercontinental Championship now, I don't know. Like we were just talking about, it sounds like they're actually going to try and go forward with Goldberg. Ugh. Winning the Rumble. I got the first two CZW Tournament of Death events on DVD. Dude, nice. No, I told myself if I didn't get either the Double or Nothing or a Revolution DVD sets that I was going to buy them both. Because I really want those DVDs. Oh. Elbow drop. Piercing. Is this about to end in a count out? Back in. <laughs> I didn't think he could. Sami Zayn just threw the match. Here is your winner, Roderick Strong. Well, that's one way for Roddy to finally get a win. All right, coming up next, we've got the TCW Alliance trying to get a little bit of revenge on the Street Profits after they stole the tag titles from them at Holiday Bash. Can they do it? Coming up next. So Maurice is in here, but she's not officially a part of my roster. Only getting a Brody shirt this Friday. Well, ordering it, but yeah, that's until next payday or two. Yeah, I ordered my Brody shirt as well. I don't know. I don't remember how long the AEW shipping takes. But you best believe as soon as I get it, I'm wearing it on stream. Probably for like the entire week. You know, Miss Marie's can be a bit conceited, but I've really warmed up to the it couple. They started a family. They're entertaining the world on their reality show, and they both have a newfound passion to deliver in the ring. All that kissing up isn't going to win you a Mizzy, Saxton, but I agree. These two have definitely earned their keep around here.
one of the all-time greats, and a surefire Hall of Famer. The human embodiment of the phrase, it's not the size. Usually a couple weeks for standard shipping, yeah, plus COVID issues. Yeah, exactly. I don't think I've ordered anything from AEW since the pandemic started. I don't think. I'm trying to think. Nope, I don't think I have. I got a couple AEW shirts at Hot Topic, but I didn't order anything online. I want to start taping uh, mini dev lo mini dev logs about my work, but I'm waiting to get a Brody shirt first. Uh, okay, for sure. I got a Darby shirt right now. As the pandemic started, I got the wrong Darby shirt in the mail, but kept it anyway because it's cool. I mean, I don't blame you. It's still a Darby shirt. Do you know how much it was at Hot Topic versus online? I think it was cheaper at Hot Topic only because they had them on sale. Because I got an Orange Cassidy shirt and I got an Inner Circle shirt. And I think it was like a two for 25 deal on shirts at the time. If I remember, it was either, it was two for 25 or two for 35. I can't remember. So I think it was cheaper at Hot Topic as opposed to ordering it online. All right, DCW Alliance and Street Profits. What the hell just happened with Maurice there, and why is she floating? And then you have The Miz, who has multiple championships to his name, a successful TV show. What is happening right now? The ref can't stop looking at Maurice. Oh, there we go. Okay. And it all, both inside and outside WWE. I hope he can find what made him a must-see superstar once again. Snapper takeover, followed by... Draw kick! Great athleticism. Ah, what a smash! Yeah, she just wanted a closer look. That's it, you know. While floating in the air like a vampire. Beautiful. <laughs> Elbow drop. Piercing. Devastating elbow. Abdominal stretch. It's locked in. This is a great way to wear down your opponent. Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Gets the tag. Tag made. He goes for the cover. Plenty of fight left. Kicked out at two. Ooh, tossed with the suplex. Desperately trying to get to the corner now. It's not going to be easy, though, Michael. Inching closer to his partner here. You can talk about being close all you want, Cole, but unless you're talking about horseshoes or hand grenades, it means nothing. And gets the tag. Bulldog! 
You bought yourself a Christmas present? Oh yeah? What's that? What'd you get? Lost in the corner right now. Trapped in the corner. You got NBA 2K21 for PC on Stadia? Ooh, my man. Hey, go ball out. It was 30 bucks? Damn, I should have got it on uh should have got it on PC then. Comes in off the tag. What's he gonna do with it? My brother also got uh, NBA 2K21 for Christmas. I may or may not have uh, may or may not have uh, told my mom that he should get that game. Because she came to me asking, like, what games does Brett not have that he would uh, enjoy? And I was like, well, funny you should say that. Because one time I was, he came over for a, uh, he came over to my place for, to use my internet for a Call of Duty event. Because I have like 10 times better internet than he does. That's not a weird flex, it's just a fact. <laughs> and I was playing some NBA 2K21 off stream. Because that's usually what I do now. And uh, we were just talking about how much he likes NBA 2K games. And I was just like, well, should get the game then. Wow, Street Profits are actually in a lot of trouble right now if you're looking at the health bars. I don't think he could have taken much more of that. Definitely has his work cut out for him. Kicked by the Miz. He's Kenny doing here. And the fight must go. Ooh, still kicked out at two. Dawkins did not have to help there. I will say this, if Google Stadia had this on their thingy, it probably would have run smoother than console. Probably not, but it does run well for NBA. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I guess it depends on the console. I just, I don't really know a whole lot about Stadia. So, I don't know. They do have Battlegrounds, but I got NBA instead. Dude, I seriously, I thought I would play Battlegrounds a lot more than I have. But, I don't know. It was, it really was fun. It really was a fun game to play. Even though I don't like arcade style wrestling games. But, I don't know, just nothing's really bringing me back to that game again right now. I thought Battlegrounds wouldn't be shit after five minutes, but here we are. Game as dead as can be. Yeah. I guess that's just kind of NBA, or not NBA, WWE 2K games for you. Unfortunately. Still has major frame rate issues two months later. Oh, jeez. I didn't know that. Good, folks. And the cover for the win. This is it. A 
That might be it. Does he have a win in hand now? That'll knock you silly, that's for sure. Ooh, Ray was trying to come in to stop him from the breakup, but wasn't able to do it. Adam Ski Booth with the follow. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate that. I just lost hope after the Boogeyman announcement. I mean, that is also very true. He could be done very soon. I can't say I expected to see this tonight. It's not every day you see a guy as talented as him take such a beating. Look at this. Ooh. Splash. Whoa. Warriors beat the Pistons. Yeah, no real surprise there. Pistons are uh, Pistons are just as confusing. Oh, what? Wow. They did not want the smoke. Street Profits still remain hot. All right, coming up next, the brand new women's champion Becky Lynch goes one on one with the former champ, Zelina Vega. And here comes the man. The following contest is scheduled for. One half of Becky Lynch, got it. All right, give me one second, guys. Let the entrance is run. A young lady who has prided herself on being different. A young lady who has prided herself on thinking outside the box, and she has taken that mentality to tremendous success here at WWE. and calculating Zelina Vega. What well, could be worse than bringing back Oldberg and Bork? <laughs> yeah, no kidding. A wrestling game where the people in charge know absolutely nothing about wrestling, supposedly. You know, Zelina Vega has become so notable for bringing Andrade to the NXT title and main roster success. It's easy to forget that she has some impressive in-ring skills herself, too. Vega has an uncanny in-ring IQ to serve her client well, but you know there are a few in-ring secrets she saved for herself that we just may see tonight. And I'd say this match will go a very long way in determining just who is WWE's most dominant woman. It definitely will, Cole. But at the same time, whoever wins here tonight can't just rest on her laurels. There's a whole locker room full of women looking to take that top spot.
Be prepared for the worst 2K20, brother, if that happens. Dude, if that happens, we're switching over to AEW. <laughs> we're going to switch over to the AEW game. Plain and simple. Either way, you slice it, the man is ready for action. And with the women's division as white hot as it is right now, you just know this match... Wrestling Empire coming to Switch in 13 days? Oh, nice, dude. I like how much Nintendo Switch is getting now. Wrestling Empire is the one game right now that I can all but guarantee will not suck. I might have to check it out. I did just recently get my Nintendo Switch back. So. Dakota Kai's music. Well, Becky was was taking a lot of momentum in this match, but Dakota Kai's music played and it distracted her. Take out Becky that easy. I thought I dropped my pretzels for a second. I was about to be really upset. Ah, what a smash! That is just insulting. Watch this here. Good counter by Becky. Kick out of two. Wow. Back and forth matchup right now. She's in full control now. Targeting the leg. 
She's got the shoulders down. And Becky Lynch powers out. It's going to take more than that to keep her down. <clears throat> going to lurk for a while while I go so I can get some dessert. Sounds good, my man. You know what? I think I'm going to grab a couple Reese's while I'm at it. Uh oh, wait a minute. And she's getting fired up here. Maybe not. Zelina could end this. Here. And here's a cover. And the kick out by Becky Lynch. Oh, never mind. Kick out at one. To take down the Irish last kicker, folks. She's calling her out. Zelina Vega, big move coming. Is it enough to put Becky away? That's it. Selena I cannot even begin to tell you the amount of Reese's that I got for Christmas. A kick out. My family knows me so well. I can't believe it. Still in it. What a gutsy performance. Boom! What a kick. Now trampling the opposition. Arm lock expertly applied. Oh, that's mm. not right. Somebody do something about that. Becky Lynch just too fast for her. Just breaking down the opponent. Look out here. I'm throwing her to the outside. Uh oh. Zelina's going flying. Into the ring post. Six. Seven. <clears throat> oh, she's not looking good here. The first thing she needs to do is somehow get out of that corner. Double man. Zelina with the upset victory over our current women's champion. Here is your winner, Zelina Vega. She <clears throat> continues to impress with the win here tonight. That may have been one of the most dominant performances I've seen in a very long time. All right, coming up next, we got Ricochet versus Dolph Ziggler. As we mentioned in the pre-show, Ricochet losing at the Holiday Bash can no longer challenge for the global championship as long as Gargano holds that belt. What does this mean for the future of Ricochet? This 
This is a man who has traveled the globe, honing his craft, exceeding his own expectations, learning to become the premier sports entertainer in the world. And finally, Ricochet has arrived at the pinnacle of the game. The future of flight. The bell rings and set for action as Dolph Ziggler, a man who has real talent and ability in the ring, but spends most of his time complaining and deriding his fellow superstars. And then there's Ricochet, who just can't help but impress the WWE Universe and frustrate the competition every single time he steps foot inside the squared circle. Ricochet leaps out of the TV screen like a superhero leaps out of a comic book. In the face! Boom! What a forearm! Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. Close quarters. Oh, what a knee. Oh, what a right. Man, that's some attitude behind it. Oh, my God, oh, what a slap. Disrespect. Just... Gotta find a way to get out of this. Oh, right to mm. the rope. He's looking a little off balance. If he can hold the line here, he'll be in a good Ricochet position. is not starting off good here at all. be reminded of when Dolph Ziggler first arrived on the scene and introduced himself before every match. I think it's fair to say everybody knows who Dolph Ziggler is now, though. Oh, Ricochet, that's a little ambitious. Can he make that? Oh, he did, but he was met by the knees. He caught him slipping. Michael alluded to, Dolph Ziggler has gone from introducing himself to making his name known. And Corey Ziggler earned that reputation by beating some of sports entertainment's biggest names. Oh, you're right, Byron. Oh. He the WWE of the authority when he was the sole survivor at the 2014 Survivor Series. Just breaking down the opponent. And look at the quickness by Ricochet. He's not looking good here, guys. <clears throat> Great agility there. Kick! Oh. Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. First to happen here. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think I know what's going to happen. No way. Here it comes. Ooh. Ricochet into the cover. Only a kick out of one, though. Soccer. Ricochet has certainly made an impression on the scene of sports entertainment. Ricochet's unique gifts are no accident. Since his teens, he's possessed the desire to fly as if gravity didn't exist. Look at the high. Oh! He's getting pushed out into the defense. He could do it here. Wow. Not a good showing at all by Ricochet. Clearly something is in his head after that loss to Gargano last week. Yeah, big win for that young man. Uh-oh. Wait a minute. What's he thinking now? Uh-oh. It is time for our main event of the evening. CSW heavyweight champion Mustafa Ali goes one-on-one -on -one with Adam Cole. How will Mustafa Ali respond after that insane match he had with Randy Orton last week at the Holiday Bash?
Hey, Byron, maybe you should wear one of those masks when you do commentary. You'd never see my face or hear you. There he is, the heavyweight champion himself. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 182 pounds. One half of the Ali. One of the most exciting competitors in all of WWE. Ali can drop your jaw with some of his mind-blowing offense. You have to wonder, though, with Mr. Brody Lee lurking in the back, how long is this title reign really going to last for Mustafa Ali? We've seen him already tonight. And his opponent representing Undisputed Era from Panama City, Florida, weighing in at 210 pounds, Adam Cole. Well, listen, you know, I don't think I've ever met a man who likes the sound of their own voice as much as Adam Cole does. Besides you, of course, Corey. First of all, I resemble that remark, Saxton. Secondly, you should be happy that Adam Cole didn't hear you say that. But I might just have to tell him after the show. <laughs> Tattletale. before arriving in NXT. Once upon a time, Cole was a key member of a certain treacherous faction over in Japan who also boasted leaders like Finn Balor and AJ Styles. Talking about the Bullet Club, of course. <clears throat> Main event time, here we go. One of the most dedicated competitors we've ever seen in WWE who just won't stay down, won't give up, and always stands up for what he believes in. I'm half tempted to call that attitude foolish, but Ali's so steadfast, even I'm impressed. Boom, Ooh. nice. Super Ooh, kick. kick to the gut. Oh, trampling the opposition. Side Russian leg sweep. Oh, ho, ho, perfect form. Picture perfect drop kick and a cradle. Ooh. Took a while on that count there. Pinfall at this point. So resourceful. Teed off. Here it comes. Nicely done. Boom! A forearm smash. And it's Ali answering back. Oh man, what a strike! Engineer on the mark. Lock up to the top rope. Hurricane Rana. This is Ali to the top. Look at this. Frog splash. Ali the He's going back to the top again. Here we go. Oh, leg drop. He kind of kicked him in the head. On to the outside. Oh, man. Oh, well, you know what he was going for. Kind of was in a bad spot for it, though. Nice right hand. And Adam Cole is going to capitalize. Out here, but he must 
be mindful of the referee's count. Adam Ooh. Cole connected with a good shot there. Oh, that rocked him. A lot of fighting going on on the outside. They got to get back in the ring at some point, though. Ooh, Adam Cole goes in, but he's just going to break the count. Gets met with a huge drop kick. Cole with another reversal. Oh wow, what a sequence there from Adam Cole. So resourceful. Tough situation to be in right here. Ooh, right to the throat. This could be it. Cover. And the kick out by Ali. Gonna take more than that. Adam Cole looking to inflict serious damage. Adam Cole, baby! Oh, that hurt knee to the spine. This could Big be super serious. kick. Attack to the midsection. Oh, right to the gut. Another big super kick. Ooh, but he got a rope break on it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That might be it. Ali kicks out at two. Adam Cole has had a lot of momentum in this match. Really bringing the fight to the heavyweight champion. What a super kick from Adam Cole. Stopping down. Just throwing in a backflip there, because why not? Ah, look at this. Spinning arm breaker. Six. Uh oh. Seven. What a hurt for Ron. Carefully measured knee drop. Eight. Boom. 
Ali's going to go in, more than likely to break the count up, and he does. Going in to break the count, and he does. Wow. Ali definitely taking his time. He knows he has all the momentum in this match right now. Just like that, Adam Cole. Trying to bring it back. A lot of fighting on the outside going on here. Just breaks up the count. What's Ali setting up for here? Oh no, we've got a problem here, guys. Oh boy. Wait a minute. Ooh. Nope. He's gotta do more than that. Adam Cole is trying to go for the drop kick there, but misses. Oh wow, what a sequence there from Adam Cole. So resourceful. Oh, this is a great movie. Oh. oh. Goes into the pin. Two. And that's it. Oh my goodness. Adam Cole with a huge win. I mean, you have to wonder how much of that had to play in with Ali's match last week against Randy Orton. That's exactly why these competitors are main eventers. What an amazing match. 